In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Foundation Reveal JavaScript to add a pop-up medal to your site. We're going to be taking this contact form and rendering it through the pop-up. Over in our layout template, we can see the markup for our navigation. Right now, Pop Sections is rendering out each link. We're going to need to break that up because we want to control our contact section individually. So we'll use the accept attribute to exclude that contact form from that pop sections tag. Now when I hit save and I go back over to our site preview, I can expect that link to be missing. And it is. So back in our template, I'm going to bring back the contact link using a pop content tag with a from attribute specifying the contact content. Within that, I'll just copy this link structure. But I will change one thing. In this a tag, I'm going to add a special data attribute, which the reveal JavaScript will be looking for to tell it which ID container to turn into a model. In this case, we'll call it contact model. You'll notice our section tag is using the break attribute to wrap each link with a list item. So our contact link will also need to be wrapped. Since it's an individual item, we'll use the wrap attribute. Next, we're going to want to create the div that holds our modal. And we're going to give it the ID which we specified with our data tag in our link. So we'll call it contact modal. We'll give it the class of reveal modal so that foundation will apply its modal styles to it. And we'll just put a placeholder h1 in there for now. Now, if we hop over to our page and hit refresh, our contact link should give us the medal. And it doesn't work. And that's because we haven't included the proper JavaScript in the footer of our layout template. In order for this to work, we need to include reveal.js, and that's currently not in our JavaScript bundle. But that's an easy fix, especially because it's just conveniently commented out down here. Also, Note how foundation is being initialized by this inline script right before the closing body tag. Scroll back up and just copy and paste that in there. It's important to note that these JavaScripts are already included in the JS directory of our blog theme. We can see foundation, reveal JS, and jQuery included here. Just keep in mind that if you're working on your own site that you'll need to include these yourself. Now when we hit save and check out our site, it should work. And it does. Let's go back to our template now and render this contact form in the pop-up model. But what do we replace this with? We could hard code it, but that would be repeating our markup. If your first instinct was to use an include for the contact template, mine was too. But there is a slight glitch with this it would be calling the layout twice, and that wouldn't make sense to the templating engine. So what we're gonna do is copy this section material here and make an include of this contact form. For organizational purposes, we'll make a new folder called includes. And within that folder, we'll create a new file called underscore contact. We'll put the underscore in there just as a naming convention. Then, in our contact include, we'll just paste in the contents of our original contact template. We'll hit save, and then head back over to our layout template. Here, we'll replace the h1 placeholder text with pop include. We'll go ahead and specify the template with the autocompletion. Pretty handy. Now, when we hit save, and check out our page, we should see the actual form show up in the model. Let's try it out. And it works. Although, right now there's no close button. The user can click off the side, but it would be nice if we could give them something a little bit more direct to click on. So, back in our template, we'll add an a tag and give it the class close reveal model. This just tells the reveal JavaScript to intercept that link click and trigger a close action. Let's try it out. 
Now we get a nice little X telling us we can close that model. The good thing about this setup is it's all progressively enhanced. If the user doesn't have JavaScript enabled and follows that link, they'll end up on the original contact page. There's one last little bit of housekeeping. The markup for the original page is the same as that for the medal. And since we're using an include for the medal, we can actually use that same include in our original template as well. So we'll just copy and paste that and hop back to our contact template and replace that section with the include as well. That way, if we're comfortable with those two pages being identical in markup, we can just edit it in one place. And just to verify, back in our contact page, we still see the same markup. Let's go to our home page and experience the button as an actual site visitor would. Looks like it works. It's as easy as that.